G'day, Dylan from the Brian Bay Observatory here, and I've been keeping a secret from all of you guys, which kills me, uh, because I've known about this for a little while, but I know what happened during the Mead Orion Coronado auction debacle. Uh, I've known for a little while, but I couldn't say anything until now, so I get to share with you the, uh, the news, I guess. But where do we start? Let's go right back. Cinta bought Mead from America, it became a Chinese company, and Orion wanted to buy Mead and then sued Cinta for anti-competition for running a monopoly, essentially, and won that lawsuit. And then Mead went back to the USA and got bought by Orion. Then Orion folded as a company and people got fired. All of their stuff got captured by liquidators and finally went up for auction last December or January. The news of the auction went out in December and then in January the auction happened and I shared that news with you guys and then I had to share the follow-up news about the disaster that the auction was suddenly pulled like with live bids happening. It was actually kind of crazy and a lot of stuff went down, there were a lot of uh, people complaining, there was a lot of questions about how legal this was. Uh, I'm sure the auction house copped a lot of flack over that situation but I finally know who bought it. Someone came in and bought all the stuff. This video is sponsored because it kind of has to be. So you might be able to put two and two together and realize that I'm talking about High Point Scientific, who sponsor this channel. Uh, but this is not the full story. I don't understand why it was conducted in really just straight after Christmas. I knew early, I knew sort of mid-December that the catalog was being compiled and then straight after Christmas happened, we're all on school holidays and family holidays and this auction starts. No one had any real time to do anything. And from what I gather, High Point Scientific had already started the process of inspecting equipment and kind of making a deal. And I think they were caught off guard as well that the auction had gone ahead when they were sort of in the middle of working out a deal. But it was a bad time to run an auction, right? And for a lot of us overseas, super inconvenient. We knew there were going to be bargains there, but it was very difficult logistically for us to organize anything. Plus he had to bid in lots for pallets of 10. Uh, all of this stuff was sort of bundled together. It was kind of a messy situation. Now, here's the cool thing. High Point Scientific are going to on sell this stuff and still put it up with heavy discounts up to 60% off some of these large systems and there's gonna be no auction process. It's gonna be just throw up a bunch of stuff, first come, first served, you just go to a website, add it to cart, get the discount. Uh, I don't have the link now as I'm recording this video, but I'm back again from the future. I now have the link for uh, where this is all gonna happen. It will be on the High Point Scientific site in a sub page there, which I will link here and down below. Um, now, I wanted to talk about some of the myths about what's going on and clear up some um, misunderstandings. There was this idea that at the auction there was stuff that was possibly repairs sent back to Mead or Orion. People who had sent their stuff for repair and then the company went under and their stuff was now being auctioned off. I don't believe that's the case. Uh, that's not to say that um, some of the stuff wasn't inoperable or broken or not in the best uh, condition. So that stuff has been separated out either well before the auction or by High Point Scientific with the stock that they receive. So all the stuff that's being on sold now is basically being, being sold as new. And for the high end stuff, there will be a bundled warranty, which I believe they're still sorting out the details for. But I mean, you get all the consumer protection that you would if you bought from a company as new and the stuff has been vetted, which is excellent. And I should also mention that the kind of situation that was not so great with the auction and how it went down, none of that really had anything to do with High Point Scientific. They were essentially a buyer, just like all the rest of us trying to get access to the equipment. But at the end of the day, I think this is a pretty good solution. Now I know that um, starting soon, in the next couple of days, I believe, will be a set of LX90s. I'm not sure what the discount is, it could be close to half price um, and there is no auction process. You can just log onto the website and buy it, just add to cart. And because High Point Scientific now ships internationally, it means all of us all around the world 
have access to the equipment. Still at discounted and with buyer protections as well. So hats off to High Point for making this happen. It's, uh, it's definitely, I think, a win-win situation at the end of the day. And it means that uh, people who were interested in stuff don't have to get nailed by the, um, the buyer fees that were added at the auction or the multiple pallets and going in with the group buyers trying to get down there with the truck. All of that stuff is off the table now. We will have access to this stuff without all the pain, which is good news. Now, another thing I should probably mention is that this doesn't resolve the Orion Mead Coronado situation at all. The IP is still up for sale. So factory equipment, blueprints, schematics, brands, all of that stuff I believe is still an ongoing concern and something that could still be bought by a company through their lawyers or whatever. I don't know, but High Point Scientific just bought the new stock, the stuff that was able to be unsold. So this situation might not be over and there might be another chapter unless this really is the end of the brands um, at this point. Does anyone want to invest in these now defunct brands? Does all of the interest that was generated through this process really move the needle for any brand or vendor to have a real think about whether these brands have value? Or in this new world of tariffs and threats and trade wars, maybe it's a good idea for an American company to actually get back in the game at this point. Is the economic environment more favorable? And on that note of tariffs, I should mention that uh, even though all of this stuff built by Orion, an American company, it was built in China and Mexico at one point and is now in the country. So it's not subject to any tariffs or anything like that. But in some weird way, you are supporting America by buying an American company's old stuff through an American company. So there is that too. Make astronomy great again. Anyway, that's it. That's the news. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, I will update the links in this video as things change, but we have the link now, so I'll be able to link to that landing page. It's probably blank at the time that this video goes live, but stay tuned in the next couple of days. This is happening. But the best way to stay on top of all of this to sign up to the High Point Scientific Newsletter. Um, they post fairly regularly, and what I like about their newsletters is that they kind of only talk about one thing at a time, so you don't have to browse through this massive list of stuff. They'll send a newsletter with one tidbit. So I expect one of these newsletters in the next few days will be about the sale going live. From that point onwards, there will be um, batches of the sales. So the equipment will be released uh, every four or five days, they'll throw in another bunch of stock and these, this rolling stock will just get bigger and bigger depending on how many people buy the items straight away or they'll sit there and, and wait. So we don't have to deal with this auction shenanigan and we can just buy products as normal. So thank you High Point Scientific for sharing the news with me before anyone else and also your general support and sponsoring this video as well. Hopefully this marks the end of this weird auction saga. My name is Dylan O'Donnell and you've been watching Star Stuff and remember everything is meaningless and we're all going to die.